guys, welcome back to my uh, lovely channel and this is going to be my first unboxing video, you can see my hands here and I'm going to be unboxing this right here. Now as you can see this, let me zoom in a bit, this is the Vivitar DVR786 HD, it's a cool little action cam, I've got it right here, the action camera, as you can see it features a waterproof housing with a, uh, I think it's a two inch, I'm pretty sure that, two inch uh, screen and uh, at the top here we have two little buttons for uh, power and photo. Uh, let me just turn the volume down on my phone for a sec because I can hear myself which is getting annoying. Okay, so here we go. Um, on the bottom here we have a standard uh, camera uh, screw mount and to open it up on the side here we basically have to flip this bit, as you can see here, flip this bit up like that, pull this bit up like that and then turn it over so you screen up and then just open up housing. Just take the camera out, just place your hand like that, grab it Flip it over like that and then just take the housing off. Put the housing to one side for a sec. Okay, so um, as you can see here, uh, we have the screen on this side, we have the camera here. Uh, this camera is a 12.1 megapixel camera featuring a 1080p at 30 frames per second and it has a. Um, let me just check. Uh, it is, um, sorry about this guys, I think, I can't remember, oh yeah here we go, it's got a four times digital zoom and yes I was right, it's got a two inch preview screen and as I said before it's full HD so you can record lots of different things on this. To turn it on we see this little button here, uh, just click the button a few seconds and then the screen will turn on. As you can see when the screen's on you got a little interface here and basically this interface allows for all sorts of different things. It will show you whether you're recording up in the corner there and it will tell you how much recording time you have on the other side and at the bottom here we have the battery uh, which is left. On the front here you'll see a little circle now this circle I'll come to later, uh, on the side here we have a space for an SD card slot and a mini um, USB port and then next to that we have a little dot, a uh, pinhole dot where you can actually reset the whole camera. Uh, on the top here in the middle we have a microphone uh, bit and then on the other side from the power, the opposite side to the power button we have a photo button. On here we have at the bottom a menu button and then an up and a down button. So let's just turn this camera off by holding it down for about four seconds. It will say goodbye and then it will turn off. We can put that to the side for a sec and we can open the box. Obviously I've already opened up the box now. Uh, I'm just going to open it up again, uh, take all the stuff out. And then at the very bottom we have this white looking box. Yeah, just open up that. And inside we'll get lots of stuff. Now I've already opened it up, and so that's why it's not so neat right now. We it comes with this uh, charging cable, and it comes with a UK certified uh, USB adapter plug for your USB cable. Inside the box you'll also get a remote. Now this is where the little dot on the front comes into. Now this is an IR uh, pickup uh, receiver and over here we have a R IR transmitter on the front with a power at the top, photo in the middle and a video at the bottom. Now this wristband as I know is actually waterproof as well as the camera while it's inside the mount. So let's put that to the side. We'll also in the box get this. Now this is a cool little strap which allows you to strap it onto anything and also it really comes with a sticky back P 
piece of material here to stick it onto the helmet of your choosing. Now to, to take this bit out from the bottom bit, we have to pull up this orange piece and then we just clip it in a bit and then push it back. As you can see, it just splits it apart. And then we can put it back in and then put the orange piece back in. The orange piece is just so it does not unlock when you don't want it to. And here we have the bit where it allows you to screw in. Also on the bottom on the actual camera is also a standard screw mount. Uh, we can just screw that in like that. So, and then there we go. I'm going to take that out. Put this to the side for now, as well as the sticky back. In the box, you'll also receive different pieces of paper about waste and electric. You also receive a. It looks like a manual at first, but it's not. This is about the warranty and that lot. And it's got all the different languages on there. I'm guessing from you guys watching this video that you will be speaking English. And then you've got your easy guide manual. Now this uh, is not all the pages in English. There's English, also different, also all sorts of different languages in there. As it says on here, you receive the camera, charging cable, plug, CD, uh, receipt, uh, transmitter, the waterproof casing, the bike uh, mount, and the um, strap mount. In the box. We also have a CD here for installing the software on your PC. This goes on Windows XP to uh, Windows XP upwards, and it can also go on to Mac OS X 10.9, I think, and upwards. And then we also have another uh, manual here. This is for troubleshooting and stuff like that. Okay, so let's move some of this stuff to the side for a sec. Okay, so, and at the very bottom here we have a bicycle mount. Now to actually uh, work this thing, basically you have to unscrew these side bits here. And then this piece, you'll actually put over your uh, handlebar bar bit. And then this piece goes on top like that. In the middle will be the bar. And then you put it in and then tighten it up. And so. Tighten it up as much as you need, as tight as you can, so it does not slip around in there. And then here we have the bit to mount to the camera, or the camera in its casing. And then the camera itself, while in its uh, casing, has a shockproof. It, it makes the camera shockproof, very, very durable. Um, it will uh, protect it from most elements against sand, uh, water, up to 10 meters and it will also protect it from uh, mostly anything really so it's a nice little case for it now that's everything i'm just going to quickly give you a demonstration with the uh, remote let's turn it on first you cannot actually turn the camera on from the remote you can only turn it off so as you can see i'm going to turn it off by just pressing the button and there we go it'll turn off if we turn it back on camera with that. I'm going to press the photo button, it will change over to photo mode and then change over to video mode. There we go. So it's pretty cool. Um, we also, I'm going to show you the actual interface and that lot. Oh wait, it's turning off now. Okay then. Okay, so let's turn it on. And for this, we need to take it out of its case then. So as you can see here, I've got the camera on, and I'm going to quickly press the menu button. And then I'm going to go through, as you can see, there's different menu uh, options. I'm going to bring the phone closer so I can see it without it being upside down. 
So as you can see there we've got the movie size, video quality, 180 degree rotation, seamless, the seamless is for let's say you want to put a timer on for when you record, you've got your white balance, you've got your, wait, what's that say, metering, effects and face tracking. Now to get through to the next menu, you just have to click so it's not on one of the objects like that, where it's highlighted as an object, it has to be like that. And then you have to press the uh, power button. We'll go on to the next menu. Let's have a look, you've got auto review, power frequency, video format, media format, video formats for video and media formats, uh, just photos and stuff like that. Got power save when it'll turn it off after a certain time. Got date and time, language, and format. This will format the SD card only. And then you got reset all, which will reset all your settings for you. So there we go, that's the menu options. Text and then you just press the menu button again. And so that's pretty much everything about this nifty little camera. Uh, it's very fun to use very easy and very very durable as when I said when it's in its case so yeah I do recommend uh, if you do not have much money but you really want to get an action cam then to go out and buy one of these because these are a lot better uh, for your price uh, than most um, cameras these days like the GoPro like everything you can get in the GoPro you can get in this uh, the only difference really is GoPros are 4k and stuff like that and this can only record up to 1080p also another thing is the GoPros are a little bit more durable and can go up to a much deeper depth in water uh, but except from a few things like that there are like not many differences between this and the GoPro so yeah I do recommend if you want to get a cheap action camera do go out and buy one of these they're only uh, $49.99 from Argos um, I don't know what that is in dollars if you live in America but uh, I assure you these are very very cheap and still have very very good quality as always I just want to say thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, share this video and stuff like that. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and peace out.